Well, the sweet baby effect is absolutely real, and it is absolutely destroying video games right now. If they've even hinted at or have even sniffed a particular gaming property, it's set for doom. And we're watching whole studios lose bragging rights on projects that should have been an absolute lock, something that would overperform in the greatest possible way. But that's not what's happening right now. What's happening right now is uh, disappointment, sadness, and grief over the fact that the sweet baby effect is real. God of War Ragnarok, for example, has a peak player count of less than half of God of War. There's, there's obviously reasons for that. Could it be that it's Sweet Baby? Well, a lot of things they've touched recently have absolutely failed and flopped in the uh, studio workers reportedly having difficulties finding jobs. So the peak concurrent player count for Santa Monica Studios' uh, God of War Ragnarok are less than half of the studio's previous installment, God of War. As reported by Steam DB, God of War Ragnarok hit peak concurrent player count of 31,606. That's pretty impressive, but nothing to, you know, get excited about in comparison to other games. But, and mind you, this is just a few days after it's come available on Steam. So this is over 57% less than the previous installment in the franchise, God of War, which had a peak concurrent player count of 73,529 when it released back on Steam in January of 2022. Right now, at this moment, apparently, it has 10,836, which is just one third of the newer game's current total. Interestingly, both games have the exact same Metascore metric at 94 from critics. However, the user score is a full point lower at God of War and sits at 8.1, while God of War is sitting at 9.1. Despite the scores being similar, the lack of players for God of War indicates players are not purchasing the game. One of the reasons could be that the video game consultancy firm Sweet Baby Inc., led by Kim Belair, worked on God of War Ragnarok. Given this fact, the game was added to Cabrutus Rambo's Sweet Baby Inc. detected Steam curator list, which is growing by leaps and bounds at nearly a half a million with 436,912 followers. Another reason for the lack of players could be the fact that PlayStation Studios, the game's publisher, is charging full price for the game despite originally being released as an exclusive for PlayStation back in 2022. Furthermore, the game requires Steam players to link their account to the PlayStation Network, and gamers are now allergic to doing that. This is backfiring on Sony, and also players don't want to be tracked or admonished for their gameplay or any of their behavior while they're playing, which shouldn't be in the studio's purview in the first place. This PlayStation Network account requirement saw many players leave negative reviews, and the reviews for the game on Steam are currently mixed, with Steam reporting that 67% of the 2,887 user reviews for this game are positive. Uh, that's not very good. The game received 484 negative reviews on September 19th, 765 negative reviews on the 20th and 256 so far on the 21st as of the time of this article's arrival. But there are still more positive reviews with a total of 1,505, so I guess that's good. The game was scrutinized by gamers back in 2022 after the game race replaced the Jontun Engraboda. On topping... Uh, on on top of changing Engroboda's race, the game was also criticized after writer Anthony Birch admitted he wanted to make uh, Kratos talk about kissing men. Of course he did. Br Birch wrote on X, I, I was a writer on this. I don't know if, you, if you'll like the parts I wrote, but I'm pretty sure you'll like the game in general. Also, I tried really hard to make uh, Kratos talk about kissing guys. I'm sure you did. In a follow-up, he added, I don't know if that line made the final cut. It lives in the same purgatory it, with the line where Krotos mentions PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale as being ca a canon part of his backstory. What? This guy is such a tool. 
I don't know that anybody really was all dusted up over some of that stuff, but with Gods of War Ragnarok was touched by Sweet Baby Inc., my only guess is that it was put in place by somebody after they talked with the consultancy group. I do know this much, that uh, as of this moment, 31,606 on Steam isn't great. And look, I do understand that this game was released two years ago elsewhere as an exclusive. According to PSN profiles, there really were only 256,805 owners that checked in with their trophies. Whether or not that's the total number of players that were there for the game's entire ownership is not something that's a matter of record. I will say that as of this moment, while I'm recording, there have only been 720 recent players to this game. So it doesn't look like two years later, anybody is returning. Of course, this also takes into account the number of people who got the DLC, which was really only 68,000 people as of the point in this conversation that have gone through PSN profiles. So whether or not you believe that this is a part of the game linking or a part of the decision making to hire a consultancy group is kind of up in the air. I do know this, this game is not performing well outside of PlayStation, and that's going to be a problem if this pattern continues for anything tied to Sony going forward. But hey, what are your thoughts? Let me know what you think about this game, whether or not you're interested in it on Steam, if you have it on PlayStation Network, and what you thought about it when it was an exclusive. And let me know if you think that it was Sweet Baby or PSN Player Link that drove people away from this title. Let me know those thoughts down in the comments section below. As always, be sure to take care of yourself, take care of others, and until next time, see ya.